Hey guys, I hope you had an absolutely wonderful Christmas and a wonderful time in general. And for me in particular, it was a very bookish Christmas. So I thought, why not show off the treasures that I got from my family and my boyfriend? <laughs> so I hope you'll enjoy. Um, first up, I have here this 2018 Folio Society Diary that they gave free with every order that was put uh, up during the Christmas season. And it has a very medievalish theme this year, as you can see here with the cover illustration. So it's this nice little book of dates that I think will come in handy. And on its own, it goes for about 19 pounds on their side. So I think this was a very nice and lovely gift to receive alongside the stars of my Christmas. <laughs> and there we have here first The Vampire and Other Macabre Tales by the Foyer Society. And this book was on my wish list for a while. But what really pushed me to be like... I need to get this as soon as I can was that I saw it on Pontus Presents channel and he gave out the warning that there were only 14 uh, pieces left so the book is sold out by now and I just had to put down the order as soon as I could so this is the last 14th copy of this book <laughs> and I feel very lucky to get it because it is gorgeous I love the themes. I like reading macabre tales. <laughs> and the illustrations are wonderful. Very dark. Very mysterious. And yeah, I was very happy to get it. Then next we have The Traveler in Time which is an absolutely gorgeous book and it had two things going for it once the one this beautiful cover that just instantly caught my eye on their side and two that it was illustrated by Omar Rayan who is my absolute favorite illustrator of today I'm a huge fan of this so I count myself very lucky to get anything I can that he illustrated and I borrowed the book beforehand in the library to see if I like it. And I was super pleasantly surprised because I actually loved it. I thought it was very dreamlike written. Very beautiful. Sort of sad story, but bittersweet. And I loved the song that was uh, woven into the story, Green Sleeves. I basically listened to nothing else for a couple of days after I read the book because I was not quite willing to let it go yet. So having it in this wonderful edition is just absolutely lovely. And it is on sale right now on the Folio Society website in a New Year's sale for only £10. So jump on it. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. I was very, very happy to get it for Christmas. Then next... I have here Chinese fantasies and fairy tales, which is another book that I was looking forward to very much because I love Chinese fairy tales. I've had a book of them when I was a little girl and they were almost always among my favorites. And this edition is so beautiful and it has such wonderful illustrations that I needed to have it in my collection. It's a real treasure. And then last, but definitely not least, I got the 
these two wonderful Discworld novels, Small Gods and Mord, which were also both illustrated by Omar Rayan. So, you know, that was a huge plus. But then, they are just so beautiful. They might be among my favorite Folio Society editions of all time. I just love them so much. I love how the logo was worked in here with the turtle. I love this sort of paper on top of the velvety cover. It's just wonderful. <laughs> and the Discworld novels are really dear to me. Terry Pratchett is my favorite author. And not because I'm saying that nobody ever wrote better books than him, but every single book of his that I have read, I have loved. I think he was such a witty and clever and imaginative writer. And yeah. I know that if I read a book of his, there is a high chance that I will absolutely love it. And that was definitely the case with Small God, which tackles, well, topics of religion and spirituality in a very fun and clever way. Like I said, Terry Pratchett was just a very witty writer. And I think these illustrations just perfectly capture that humor, but also bandwidth of Harry Pratchett's writing. Same here with Mort. It has a rather macabre humor, as it is the starting point of the Death series. And you know, I can never make up my mind which Discworld series I love the most. But probably the witches. <laughs> so here's hoping that at some point there might be a witches uh, Discworld for your society book. But for now, I am incredibly happy with owning these two beautiful editions. And I will probably make a more detailed overview video over these two very soon. So, you know, stay tuned. <laughs> And in other bookish news, I got two more books for Christmas that are not for your society. So we have here The Bells and Other Poems by Edgar Allan Poe with illustrations by Edmund Dulac. It is a color edition. And I must say, color edition might not be the same quality as for your society. But I am very happy with what they are. Because they have a lot of reprints of Golden Age illustrators. And the quality, while well, not for your society, is still very, very good. And very large formatted, which is always a plus when you are mostly interested in illustrations. Even though I also like the Ellen Poe, so I was very happy to get this one. And for the final book that I got this Christmas, I have here this Jean de Bonneau edition. He is a French bookbinder with very extraordinary leather bindings. This is Juvin's Journey to the Middle Point of the Earth in French. <laughs> and yeah, I really wanted to try an edition of his. And so far, I think I might love it. So... That was my bookish Christmas this year. It was very beautiful for me. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it. And yeah, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>